We're gonna be swatching all of my luxury lipsticks. This is going to be comprised of brands like Dior, Guerlain, YSL, Lancome. All of the lipstick series videos will be linked in the description box. Let me know which lipsticks you think that I should let go of based off of the shade, if you think it doesn't look flattering on me, because I would like to dwindle down my makeup collection even more. So without further ado, let's get into the swatches. The first shade we have is Chanel Esprit. I've always wanted to say Chanel that way. It is a slightly cool toned medium berry with a pearl-like finish. It was limited edition, so you can't get it anymore. And please don't look up the release date because I'm ashamed to admit how old it is. Next, we have Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate. It is a pink toned nude in their moisturizing lipstick line. Um... And it's nice. I mean, I only wear this with a lip liner and it's rounded because I dropped it. That was a sad day. Did you know that you could refill these? I just learned that. You can buy the refills, which is handy because these lipstick tubes are gorgeous. Next, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Red Carpet Red. It is a true ruby red matte lipstick and it is exactly the way that it sounds. It's a matte red that is perfect for any celebratory occasion or even every day. I think it's a forgiving red too because it seems to be mid-toned and not too cool, not too warm. Then we have Opium, which is Opium Noir actually, it is a berry with a cream finish. It was a limited edition, so you can't get it anymore from my understanding. My lips were a bit dry when I refilmed this portion because I forgot to swatch this lipstick and I feel like it makes my teeth look yellow, but it might just be my teeth that are yellow. Then we have Penelope Pink, which I was expecting to be more pink. I've actually never tried this on, oddly enough. I think just because it's another nude and I might have thought, oh, maybe I'll give this away or something, but no, it's old. I'm keeping it. Next, moving on to the shades that I have from Clarins. I have this deep red from the Jolie Rouge line, and then this is only slightly darker than the next four that I have, which are actually all the same shade, but different finishes, because they invited me to a PR event and they gave me all of the shades. What? <laughs> Just in case that sounded confusing, I first have the regular Jolly Rouge, which this is actually slightly more orangey than the last red that I tried. They smell really good. You can tell by the clip that I'm really enjoying the fragrance of it. I like the feeling of these lipsticks too. They're very kind of thin and pigmented, but not too full coverage, if that makes any sense. So for instance, here we have the Velvet Finish, which as you can imagine is a matte. It's not a satin matte. It is properly matte. I feel like there is no shine to it at all. And I really like this formula. Again, thin, comfortable. It has a sort of vanilla-ish kind of sweet fragrance. What do you think? I think it's really nice. The next is the Shine Finish. This was also really nice. It's a little bit more sheer, more everyday. This is actually more my vibe. Like it looks threatening in the tube, but it's actually very wearable. And I can see myself reaching for this more often than standard cream red lipsticks. Jolie Rouge also comes in a lacquer finish, which is more of an opaque wet lip effect, but the same color. Essentially, it's more opaque than the Shine version, I find, and a little bit more, yeah, pretty much more full coverage. If you have enjoyed this video so far, I hope that you've left a comment already and let me know what shade to get rid of, but I also hope that you click the like button for new videos weekly. The following lipstick is Dior in Rose Harper's from their Rouge Dior line. It is a pretty magenta pink that I bought many moons ago and I'm ashamed that I haven't been wearing it because I think it actually looks really pretty. There's something about the formulation of Dior lipsticks and high-end lipsticks in general. I hate to say it, but many of them are better than drugstore lipsticks, but there are diamonds in the rough. 
Next, we have the best lipstick in the world. Okay, maybe not, but it's my favorite. It is Androgyny by Dior, and I love this. I love this so much. It's a my lips but better color for me. So comfortable, long-lasting. Even when the shine fades, it leaves a little bit of a stain behind. It pairs amazing with nude lip liners and brown and pink. Following that, we have Dior Addict Exotic. I actually bought those at the same time, I think. Um, pretty sure this is from a limited edition collection or something like that. But yeah, it's a pretty pink. I don't love it as much as Androgyny because I'm more of a nudie girl. Don't you just love it when you buy lipsticks that are expensive and you don't wear them? This one is called Cruise. I clearly didn't learn my lesson, right? Like, I bought another pink. This pink is similar to the last one, except it is a more opaque formula because it comes in the darker tube. We've got Elizabeth Arden red door which is another classic red quite similar to the red carpet from charlotte tilbury if you ask me but i think i prefer the formula from charlotte tilbury this one feels a little drier and i didn't do it properly at the center of my lips so please forgive me many swatches happen this day But isn't the packaging gorgeous? It's absolutely stunning. Can't resist. This is the one in raspberry. And oh my goodness. See, I'm not a red lipstick girl. But this, I really like. Like this to me is the equivalent to a red lip for me. The kind of color that I would like to wear if I was dressed up and going out. Or if I wanted to stand out. This is it. Next, we have Elizabeth Arden Wildberry, which is weird because it doesn't look like a Wildberry shade at all. As you can see, it's sort of like a neutral kind of pinky coral toned down coral. But that be that's kind of weird. Isn't that weird? Anyway, it is very nice. I do like the Elizabeth Arden lipsticks, but I do prefer the other formulas from Charlotte Tilbury and Dior, truthfully. Um, these ones are a little bit drier. They are maybe longer lasting, but not as comfortable. Then we have Mulberry. It's from the Ultra Ceramide lipstick line, I think, from them, and it's a bit more of a sheer color. I know this lipstick is so old. This I definitely need to wear with a lip liner. It's got a bit of like a silver shimmer going through it. But um, yeah, I want to find out if I can refill the tube because I love the tube, but not the color so much. Stay Lauder. Oh boy. Yeah, I like this lipstick too because it's not a like punch your face red. It's a little bit muted, but in a cool way. And I'm a fan. It was also really comfortable and nice to apply. I love the packaging. I don't know why I haven't been wearing this. I think it's just when you're spoiled for choice. Estee Lauder Shameless Violet. This, again, Actually, most of these are PR, except a couple of the Dior ones. This was in the PR. I wouldn't naturally go out and purchase this color. I'd rather get something like this at the drugstore. The opacity is nice, but it could be better, I think. This is Sly Ingenue. This is giving me Rebel Rose vibes, except more muted. Rebel Rose was a shade that I had from Estee Lauder that... I failed to pan completely, but it fell apart and I just got rid of it. I think I just found a replacement for that and I'm really happy actually. I love this color. So comfy, so pretty. Oh, we have Guerlain, my first lipstick, um, Petit Robe Noir. Basically, it's like meant to be like your first lipstick as a kid pink glittery 
wearable, comfortable. It's got, um, I feel like I can taste the fragrance of it, which I'm not exactly a fan of, but it's a pretty thing to toss into your purse. My only other Guerlain lipstick is Kiss Kiss Creamy Finish Rouge Kiss. Packaging is so pretty, but I wish this were a cool toned red because this isn't really my color. Next we have Lancôme L'Absolu Rouge in a nude shade. This was a sample that I got. I don't even remember if it was Sephora or if it was in a makeup kit because I used to buy a ton of things before, but this is really pretty and wearable. This is Rose Boudoir by Lancôme. I love this Lancome and Love Collection. I was just enamored by the full lipstick line. My mom got the purple one and I bought a couple of coral ones. I got Rose Boudoir and Coral and Love. I prefer Rose Boudoir, but Coral and Love seemed more wearable at the time. And this was this was a time when peach lipstick was in its prime. It was everywhere. You couldn't escape it. And so I was influenced. I got this nail sale for the packaging seriously and I'm seeing a trend here I am quickly realizing that this is my favorite kind of lipstick that's this is my lipstick aesthetic if you wanted to name a lipstick after me Lancome this is it we're now swatching two lipstick shades from Lise Watier which is now called Watier the nude very pretty, but it smells off. Um, I can definitely tell that it's time to declutter this one, which is too bad because it's a pretty straight on nude for me. I'm really impressed with the pigmentation of this and it still smells good. I don't know why it lasted longer than the nude. And the pigmentation is very even. Um, I'm impressed. This was a really nice lipstick. Once upon a time, I bought a pack of three. Yves Saint Laurent lipsticks. This is Philippe de Sheer Candy in Succulent Pomegranate. Very pretty and wearable. Great for every day. YSL Nude Beige. This is a Rouge Philippe lipstick and it's so nude. It is a very light pink with a warm tone finish, luminous finish, and I know this lipstick isn't flattering on me, but my mind says I can use some lip liner and finesse it because, come on, it's YSL. I bought these in a pack for a Chinese New Year, so I didn't directly pick the colors, unfortunately. The next one is Coral Incandescent. It is a Rouge Volupte Shine, and it's pretty. Again, it's warm-toned, unfortunately. I wish this was cool-toned. I would enjoy it so much more, whatever. I'll just pair it with a lip liner, mix it up, and finesse it. What are your thoughts? Were there any lipsticks you think that I should get rid of? Let me know in the comments down below, like I said earlier, and I will see you in my next video. Take care.